Welcome everyone to the thrilling conclusion of Let's Play Escape Velocity Nova with your host, Stephen Controller. Um, I can't really promise that this is going to be thrilling because as far as I know, based on what Olaf told us, it sounds like a repeat of the final mission that we did already. So I'm going to go and find out and hopefully not die in the process. Let's see. So actually, I didn't, um, immediately after I killed McGowan, spoilers, I killed McGowan, um, immediately after I did that, I ground up our combat rating to deadly, which is the second highest in the game, and it allows us to do something that I might show off here at the end. Oh, I should have bought Hellhounds. Uh, I don't know if I care. Because if this is anything like um, the previous mission, we just have to kill the one guy and then be done with it. And call it good. And if it is, yeah, I was going to say, if it is anything like the previous mission, there's going to be a bunch of guys in here. So we're going to have to do our typical shooting at the Vipers routine. They're going to come up and try to pester us. Okay, so we have a, let's go to the start of the list. Okay, so that's going to be our guy, he's towards the southwest of us. There's an Enterprise, a Manticore that's hovering nearby. Another Manticore, the Argosy that's right by us, so let's just kill him and get him out of the picture. Wait for it. Okay, so now where do things stand? Might as well take this guy out. Looks like he's getting hit by stuff other than our missile fire. Maybe not. Ooh, that EMP torpedo. Ooh, I didn't even see those. Glad that I've got those light blasters that um, automatically target stuff like that. Okay. How about... I don't really want to mess with this carrier, because it's not... Let's see if I can even get it. Yeah, I'm making it. No, no, I'm doing some good damage to it. Might as well. Might as well get it taken care of, too. Stop shooting those blue things at us. Oh, and that Enterprise took damage. This is going well, knock on wood. <laughs> Famous last words, courtesy of Evan Controller. All right. Oh! Well, he's got a lot of those. Although I guess there was another carrier, so there could have been a couple people shooting those at us. Fortunately, he didn't seem to do very much damage. That's fortunate. <laughs> Fortunately fortunate. I'm hitting him a little. Oh god. Don't like those at all. Maybe I should just let them shoot those at me and see if they can take them out with my point defense. That's really gonna prevent me from doing anything. Ah, oh, that Manticore was soaking up some of the damage because he was in front of it. Okay. It's weird. They've got a bunch of fighter escorts around it, but they're not doing anything. Good. 
Alright, let's see if we can take this guy out. I think he's out of, uh... Oh, there's more pirates coming in. Great. I think he must be out of EMP torpedoes. Looks like those missiles are hitting him. Speaking of missiles hitting us, or them, or being effective in any way. <laughs> Words. Um, yikes. Might as well just toss a few of these this way. Not cool. Not cool. We don't want this. Oh, God. So these guys are coming in to join the party. Gotta figure out a way of juking them. Or... Just kind of figuring out the landscape a little bit more. I wonder... Oh, phooey. There we go. Took him out. Let's see if I can get my shields to recharge a little bit. Just spam missiles his way. expert fashion, but it's working. <laughs> Just kind of having to dodge and bob and weave a little bit. About to run out of fuel, actually, for maneuvering. Which would be bad. There we go. All right. So now his buddies are coming out to fight me for some reason. And they're not going to hit me. <laughs> oh, they're just jumping away. Nice. Okay. I can deal with that. So there's another manticore on the way. Um... Enjoy that. Just gonna shoot at him and take him out and get the hell out of here. Get out of dodge. Alright. Now the problem is we don't have any fuel. So I'm gonna just kinda wait for us to recharge. I'm gonna off screen that because that is boring. Whoa! I was gonna say yay, we made it, but now we've got this crap. Don't worry, we've already oh okay. God, I was going to say that we've already, you know, we made it and everything's great, everything is fine, but clearly not. Um, if we do die, though, we've landed on Rebel 2, so we will at least have that going for us. I do want to try to get to the Hypergate, though, because I want to go to Viking and tell our wonderful Uncle Olaf what a great job we did. Ah, uh, looks like he's getting handled. Great. Okay, okay, let's go to the hypergate. This better not be... Well, I don't know. I don't know what this is going to be. I get the feeling I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> like, we went and basically did the final mission again. So, I mean, do we get, like, a million credits or something? That would be nice. 
I'm gonna be disappointed though. Okay. <laughs> this is a problem that'll pop up every now and again. He's talking about this like it's herpes or something. This is stupid. So, oh great, we can do this anytime we want on the mission BBS. Fantastic, and we got nothing for that. We just got the ability to do that again if we ever want to, which we don't. Thanks, ass. God. What a horrible, horrible man. Jeez, all right. Well, you know what? <laughs> As opposed to living with herpes for the rest of our lives, <laughs> I intend to actually find a cure. And I really don't mean to hurt anybody's feelings if you've got herpes. Um, I'm going to help you guys out. I'm going to find a cure for space herpes, for bad plot herpes. Let's land on Rebel 2 real quick. Why is that guy red? Oh my god! I hope he know what he doing. Take off every zig. Awesome! <laughs> I didn't know this was in the game. Uh, no, I know what I'm doing. That I, Obviously, I don't have any problems. That's fantastic. Can I shoot him? I'm going to shoot him. He doesn't even react! Fantastic! Awesome! Board him. What? That's disappointing. Damn it. Well, well. Move Zig! Gotta understand that this game was made in about 2002, so... It's back when that was really... Big. Well, actually, not even. It was a little bit after. Whatever. You know what? It's not something that's meant to be questioned. <laughs> that's a nice little Easter egg. I didn't know that was in the game. And I got to share it with you. Okay, so... We're gonna take care of business, though. Focus, everybody. Since we raised our combat rating to deadly... People think we're a pretty credible threat to their to their well-being, shall we say. And as such, they take seriously our threats. I'm going to threaten the good citizens of the shield system who live on the station called Harbor. I'm going to tell them to knock this shit off. Tired of dealing with them. Oh, come on. See, that's one thing. You notice that I was firing my lasers off in a weird direction. The game will kind of overcompensate for, um, for the ship's uh, trajectory, so that's what happened there. Well, I don't really want to bribe you guys anymore. I've bribed you a couple times to get some of your delicious treats that you have stored on there, but I think I'm done dealing with this. I want you guys to pay me daily to keep me from killing you and coming back and killing you consistently over and over again. I'd also like access to your station. Oh, really? He's probably not kidding. They probably will utterly destroy me, but... Well, that's interesting. They're hovering around the... the uh, planet, or the station, rather. So, I don't think I'm going to be able to take care of all these guys, but just for reference... Sorry about that. Just for reference, you uh, can take over planets and stations and get money from them every day for your efforts. What will happen when you request tribute or demand tribute? <laughs> It's not really a request. It's like, um, can you guys please pay me every day just so I don't 
utterly beat your ass. That's not how it works. Um, shooting those at me. I don't want those. How it works is uh, they'll send about 120 ships at you, with a couple of exceptions. Some places will send more ships at you, and those are bad places, but you get a lot of money from them. Um, if you manage to completely destroy their entire defense fleet, and you don't have to do it all in one sitting, uh, it's going to take a while regardless of how you do it, though. But if you do manage to successfully beat them, you can you have free access to that planet at any time. It's kind of your own personal safe haven. You can conquer the whole galaxy if you really want to. Um, which would take a uh, just utterly ridiculous amount of time to do, but it's possible. Whoa. That was not a good shot of the MP torpedo. There we go. Made a good shot on him, though. And different systems will dispatch different ships out to kill you. Um, obviously, these are all going to be pirate ships, because this is a pirate system. But other systems, you know, like Federation systems, will have cruisers and... Or not cruisers, carriers and destroyers that come out and try to kill you. With mixed success. Um, this pirate system, though, is the only pirate system in the game. And as such, you can kind of threaten them with impunity. The other downside is that if, if you threaten a planet that's a part of a government, that government, all of the worlds will be hostile towards you anytime you warp into their system. Which is a problem if you need to cross, you know, Federation space and let's say you're hostile towards all Federation systems. Yeah, that can be a little bit of a difficult thing. I shouldn't be doing this. I'm doing this entirely the wrong way. Sitting here soaking up damage, that's not good. Whoops, didn't need that. Let's see how that goes over. Wow, he's got 5% armor and he isn't disabled. What a tough cookie. Oh! None of that! that go? Like that. Alright. So they've got class 4 Valkyries. Those are horrible. Just mean little ships. Um, we're not really doing too well on this run. You know, maybe we're just not cut out for this whole space-faring combat thing. Maybe we should just think about where we should settle down and retire, huh? Boy, I sure am tired of all these Star Wars. I, I already told that joke, but I, I don't really have anything else to say right now. Just gonna land so we don't die. So if we were to want to go back to uh, Harbor to try and take it over, we could. They would immediately spawn uh, a set of defense ships to try and kill us, but I don't want to do that. That, you know, we've just been grinding our way through the game for the most part, um, and I'd like to just settle down and decompress a little bit. There we go. I guess that's probably about as good as we're going to get. Actually, no, that's probably even better. Ah, the Aurorans. They don't like me because I've been killing their ships on a regular basis. The Federation guy's got a mean old uh, ion cannon. That's not... It's a dirty ping pong. All right. If you didn't see already, we're heading to the Tuatha system to see what's going on with New Ireland because I think that would be a fine place for our little beef good thrust to settle down and retire. Almost there. Got some wild geese hanging out. Oh, look! It's like nothing ever happened. 
Well, as you can see, New Ireland has been restored through some diligent terraforming. Everything is more or less back to normal with some small, you know, areas for improvement, shall we say. Um, but the bar is just as good as it was before, it looks like. And so we conclude our journey here on the lush and verdant New Ireland. And boy, what a journey it was. Good God. Um, I mean, we laughed, we cried, we fucking broke our keyboard. <laughs> we pretty much did it all in this Let's Play, except for um, Succeed. Um, but I, I, I should say, this was one of six mission strings in the game, and I've played through three others, and part of the way through the other two. Uh, I think that adds up to six. Hopefully. Uh, even though I hated this one, though, the others I've played through are great and totally make the game worth playing. And really, you don't even have to play through the storylines to enjoy the game. It's just a good, solid uh, trade, exploration, space combat sim without even having to deal with any of the um, the storyline nonsense. Um, the other thing, too, is that this game world is really huge, and we didn't really... We, we kind of just scratched the surface of it. We stuck pretty much entirely to Federation and Rebel Space. We just kind of made some brief forays into Auroran and Polaris space. There's just all kinds of stuff that's going on that we really didn't even talk about in this um, mission string because it was pretty... it was dumb. <laughs> it didn't really go into a lot of detail about the stuff that's going on in the galaxy. Dealt mostly with the Bureau, which is a big part of the all of the storylines as far as I know, but, you know, who gives a shit? Um, they're, the, they're a generic Gestapo enemy that... Um, there's, there's just a stock of, uh, stock enemy. It's not that big of a innovation. It's not that interesting. But the other stuff that makes this game interesting um, can easily be found outside of the storylines if you don't even want to bother with them. And again, some of those storylines are quite good. Um, and there's side missions, too, that don't even have anything to do with those main ones that are good. I mentioned in one of the early, early videos that uh, I had to bypass a couple of those, unfortunately, because I was working on that horrible first mission that was just... A nightmare, but um, I guess the point is that don't base this Let's Play, or don't take this Let's Play to be the basis of how the game is. It isn't. It, there's just so much more that this game has to offer that I frankly didn't show you, and then the stuff I did show you, I didn't do a very good job of it. So I apologize and encourage you to actually uh, play through. I mean, I was, I was kind of rushing through things because the storyline was frankly kind of shitty. I just wanted to get it over with. Um, it definitely wasn't Ambrosia's best effort in the game, and I, I just don't want that to discourage you folks. It's still uh, a major uh, favorite of mine, and I encourage you guys to check it out. You can actually download uh, a shareware version of it on Ambrosia's website at ambrosiasw.com. That's, that's short for software. Yeah. Um, so you can download that and just try it. They give you a 30-day trial um, with some limitations. It's kind of shareware slash crippleware where you can't buy everything. You can't follow the storylines all the way through. But then if you do decide to buy it, you can buy it there and have a wonderful time with it. Um, just be, I, I recommend that people give it a try just because I don't think that my LP necessarily did it justice. Because uh, I was whining all the time and basically just, well, failing. <laughs> <laughs> failing my way through the game. Um, with it going on the books as sort of a failure, I don't know if I'm necessarily going to do another Let's Play of the game uh, through one of the other storylines. There are other Let's Plays of this game on YouTube. You can uh, search through. I, I can't remember the names of the guys that have done it, but I know that there's at least two or three other ones, and I know that one of them, I think, is the Federation storyline. So... If you do want to spoil it for yourself, you just want to watch other people play through the game, you're welcome to do that. Um, I guess I'll keep my options open. I won't say that I'll never let's play this again. So maybe it's something you guys can look forward to in the future. But as for now, as for our good Captain Beef Goodthrust, <laughs> I'm going to uh, put him into retirement here on New Ireland and uh, he'll be free to eat his weight in corned beef and cabbage, which they actually don't eat in Ireland, but uh, maybe they do. Do they? Anybody know? I, I, I've been there, and I don't remember ever seeing any corned beef ever. Uh, definitely there's cabbage, but I don't think that they eat the two together. Um, 
So our captain is just going to retire here and drink until his heart stops. And as for me, I'm going to drink coffee until my heart stops, probably. Uh, so I guess that's all for now. Uh, LP complete! Do not pass go! Do not collect $200! Uh, thanks, But thanks, everybody, for uh, watching and sticking through this with me. Uh, everyone, drive safely and be sure to tip your waitress, I guess. This is Effing Controller signing off. Hope to see you guys on another Let's Play adventure sometime in the very near future.